Yeah, right, guys, it's Sam here, and welcome back to another FIFA 14 play review. Today, we are going to be looking at the 86 second in form striker who plays for Napoli in the Serie A. It's going to be second in form Higuain, and as you can see on the screen right now, he has in fact got 80 pace, 89 shooting, 76, uh, 67 passing, 80 dribbling, 47 defending, and 78 heading. He cost me 82,000 coins. He has got four star weak foot and three star skill moves, medium, medium work rates, and he's six foot. So let's go have a look now at his, um, his in game stats, and you can see that he's got 99 finishing and 97 shot power. And you can definitely tell that he has got that as soon as you get into the game and just start, start having long shots with him. As well as that, he's got 87 ball control, 83 curve, 81 dribbling. Uh, 85 penalties, 95 volleys, uh, all standout stats for me, his positioning is awesome at 88, and uh, he's not that slow actually, 82 pace, uh, 82 acceleration and 81 sprint speed, and to be fair that 80 pace on the card makes him what look a whole lot better, so let's go straight into his advantages. He has got tremendous amount of power uh, in his long shots, he can get behind them, get them the majority of time on target, but there is one thing about him, he cannot stop hitting the crossbar. Uh, almost every single time I take a shot, it hits the underside of the crossbar or bounces on top of it. But it's not a massive flaw, as that's quite good because he can test the goalkeeper from range. Uh, the second one is his long shot. Obviously, I've just uh, definitely said it. Uh, his long shot accuracy is is really good. Always seems to hit them on target. He is very good at heading. He always seems to be in the right position to head the ball, and he can get tremendous amount of power behind the header uh, to cause problems for the opposition goalkeeper. He has got good positioning, uh, as you can see on the from that recent clip. He was in the right position for Abate to head him the ball. Very good at controlling the ball, which kind of surprised me. Despite his ball control was a high stat, it uh, it surprised me because I didn't think he would be that good at control. But it was very good. It always seemed to take it down very nicely for me. And yeah, it was very decent at that. Uh, as well as that, the biggest one, his pace. For 80 pace as a striker that's kind of a target man, that was decent. I enjoyed his pace a lot. He always seemed to like, he could break away from players very easily and uh, just run, use his strength as well. He had pretty decent strength. And uh, yeah, overall a very good player, and he's very like cheap, and I think his price is still going to drop. So his disadvantages are his pace at times. I know I said it was good, but it can also be bad because he can sometimes be quite sluggish. But never, never mind. It doesn't matter. If you're playing in the 4 4 1 formation, which is what I was playing, he does drop behind the centre forward, uh, unfortunately, but. That's not uh, a big issue because you can still take the long shots. And finally, his weak foot, unfortunately, does not live up to the four star. So, guys, if you have enjoyed it, obviously, please do leave a like. Comment with who you want me to review next and subscribe to see the next video. And I'll see you guys.